cool. And you know, the interesting thing now is everybody's saying, "What the hell is wrong with Bernie? You know, why is he still fighting? You know, we're up to like day thirty since it was over, and uh, he had a raucous meeting with the Democrat uh, con- caucus up on the hill, and they basically booed him for you know not standing up and. Yeah, they've got a fairly progressive platform that, that, that has been shaped in all these meetings. He's got five members of his own team on that platform committee. Um, you know, yesterday he actually came out and said very nice things about the fact that, that the, the Clinton camp has put in uh, free tuition for state in-state universities. So, I mean, it seems to be that most everything that they're seeking is there, but what's he waiting for? There's a rumor that they're going to meet together in a campaign stop in New Hampshire next week. Mm. But yeah, why is he being so stubborn? Because his people are not going to come around quickly. Even the, you know, there's only 8% of them left, but it's still, you know, the fact that you've got these people that never, ever Hillary, no matter what, they're even thinking about voting for Trump. I mean, they did a thing on The Daily Show the other night that was truly amazing. This is barking, uh, isn't it? You know, so you don't get your way, you're going to vote for Donald Trump. Unbelievable, that. So, so where are we in relation to who are the front runners for Hillary's Veep now? Well, it's very quiet. Very, n- nobody is getting Is it still Elizabeth anything. Warren? Is, is well, Elizabeth Warren is in the fray, as is Governor O'Malley, as is Cory Booker, the senator from New Jersey. Um, I keep hearing Elian Gonzalez's name from uh, San Antonio, the mayor there. I keep hearing, because you know, uh, obviously being Hispanic, um, you know, I uh, I just don't know. I mean, they're all being very, very quiet, unlike those that are on the Donald's side. <laughs>